But right now, President Obama is heading out to an event in Indiana to talk about how the Democrats have improved the economy, something the White House says even Senator Mitch McConnell can't deny. Look, it's the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, who recently has taken to the trail to hawk a book, even he has acknowledged that the American people are better off than we were seven years ago. Even he understands that we've made important progress. And wouldn't you know it, the Senate Majority Leader is here, Mitch McConnell in studio, not only to respond to that, but to talk about uh, his book. It's called The Long Game, and uh, we should have a nice long talk about that. It's good to see you, Senator, and thank you good very to much see you. for coming in. I, uh, you know, it's uh, interesting, right, to hear the, the White House cite you as almost a source there and say, boy. I, I don't know where they got that. <laughs> I've been saying exactly the opposite. I mean, in fact, you know, the middle class is shrinking. This is the worst recovery after a deep recession since World War II. Uh, the number of people on food stamps is at a record level. The labor participation rate is back where it was in the Carter administration. I don't recall saying anything optimistic about are, are this economy. We better, maybe we're better than we were at the depths of the recession in 08. I mean, if you make a comparison That's like a that. a way of looking at it, which is convenient for the White House. Right. Another way of looking at it is how does this recovery compare to other deep recessions? It's the worst recovery after a deep recession since World War II. The pattern frequently, well, actually always, has been the deeper the recession, the quicker the bounce right. back. Not happened this time. Deep recession, slow bounce back. America's averaged about 4% growth rate a year throughout its history. This administration had not had a single quarter of 3% growth rate, not one. Why not? What, what has been the biggest problem, A? I'll and, tell you. And um, ha, does the Congress deserve some of the blame along with the White House? No, because this is all about the regulatory regime that's been descending on the country. Some of it is a result of legislation that passed the first two years when the president had total control of Congress, the trillion dollar stimulus, Obamacare, Dodd-Frank. But once he lost control of Congress, it's been entirely on the regulatory side. You see it at EPA, NLRB, FCC, you name the agency. Every single one of them has been on a regulatory rampage that has kind of clogged up our system. Another way to look at it is the administration's put their foot on the brake. We need to take the foot off the brake and put it on the accelerator and get this country moving again. As Donald Trump is the uh, Republican nominee for president, as the policies, and you've endorsed him, by the way, of the policies he put forward in the campaign, are those the types of policies that could do what you're talking about? Well, some of them. You know, I don't agree with him on everything, but I know this for sure. He won't be four more years like the last eight. Hillary Clinton will be a third term for Barack Obama. Well, what and do you so, like about Trump? Econo stick to economics for a moment. Well, I think if he, if he simply went into the Oval Office after getting sworn in and began to undo executive orders and regulatory uh, uh, pronouncements yeah. that have slowed this economy, that would be a beginning of a step in the right direction. Okay. Um, you said it yourself, and uh, you said it other places, that you, you don't like everything about him. Mm -hmm. Why don't you endorse Donald Trump? Why not pull a Paul Ryan and uh, kind of wait and see? Because this is a choice. You know, I think we've, we've, it's pretty clear we're going to have two nominees here who have very high disapproval ratings. Yeah. But this is the, the, you know, the choice. Hillary Clinton's going to be the Democratic nominee. Donald Trump's going to be the Republican nominee. You may fantasize about somebody else. You may have supported somebody else in the, in the primary, but this is the choice. Well, there is maybe a third party alternative. I mean, yeah, but that will not succeed, and it will only help elect Hillary Clinton. And I would not want on my conscience, as a conservative leader in the country, that I did anything it made it more likely we would have four more years just like the last eight.